the wild coast, a favored destination for locals and foreigners alike. Here in Port St. John's, second beach is almost hallowed ground, especially on New Year's Day. Stringent measures are in place to control the influx of revelers. Lawlessness is not tolerated. I can boast that we have a jock, the Joint Operations Center, that is made up of all government departments. SAPS is there, social development, traffic, all the government departments and the municipality. For example, yesterday, the team that came, we... Uh, about nine arrests have been made of drunken driving. So we are not joking about law enforcement. We make people feel free here, they are most welcome, but we force uh, law so that people understand that it's their safety that comes first. So there's that team that we are having of all government departments that are making sure that health-wise, uh, kids are given ambience that are written phone numbers of their parents so that if in any case a child gets lost, you are able to identify that child and call the parent immediately. The lifting of the curfew and the access to the beaches are widely welcomed. We are coming from Tata Ngolo. We are happy to be here at uh, Post and John's municipality. We are coming with uh, Umeya Nankuyana. We are happy to be here. People are coming with numbers. I, I would advise people to come here at Post and John's next year. <laughs> I'm here at the beach and I'm happy. What really makes me happy is the safety. Before it used to be very dangerous coming down here because of crime. But now we are safe and we can see that uh, since the introduction of permit papers to get access to the beach, things have changed to the, to the better. So we are happy because local economy is also booming here. Bathers are also closely monitored to ensure a safe festive season in the waves. Kurule Konyembe, CBC News, Port St. John's.